hi everyone welcome back in this video we will learn how to create uh, users in mongodb and uh, we want to use mongodb in the identity server so you might have to buy the file if you download this identity server code it comes with the test users right so do we, we don't want to hard code in any file we just want to read the user i mean like we just want to validate the user is valid or not through the mongodb okay so in this video we'll learn how to integrate the mongodb with this identity server how to log in and how to create new user as well okay and give them a claim so that they can, if the user is having an admin claim then they will be able to create new users okay so let's start first i'll show you a demo then we'll go through how i have uh, achieved that all right so the service is up and running let me show you okay so you can see uh, it's over here let me click on here by default let me see what the user is there in the db okay so as you can see there is an email id with this uh, and the password is it's just an ex simple example that's why it's just uh, having a very simple username and their password okay so let me put it over here and you can see i am able to log in okay so you can see the username is ng which is nothing but over here okay now what i can do i can just log out and I have to access uh, uh, the registration part, right? So for that, I just need. So it's not doing because there is no authentication. Okay. I mean, uh, the, you, there is no user logged in, right? So that's why we are not able to access that URL. So what we need to first we need to uh, you know log in again. So I'll use the same email ID. And in the, uh, one of the video, I have already explained you how to log in via Google and everything. Okay. So I'll put the link, uh, uh, link in the description, by the way okay let me log in here so now user is logged in now let me try to access the registration page so you can see i'm able to access now let me create before creating i'll just show you a db first and you can see in mongodb i have only just one user okay let me create this time for let's say uh, a sample user And last name is just a okay, so this I could do something like that. It's just a UA simple example. I'm just trying to say a simple email ID. And this time I'll not put a, a admin role so that to I'll show you we'll create two users one with admin role, another with without admin role. Okay, so I'll just give a password as P and let's give a confirm password and let me register so you can see now user is registered let me go to the db and you can see that user with this and with the role is empty because i didn't assign anything and there is email id is this one let me copy this one let me log out and try to log in again you can see the simple user is coming now if i try to access uh, that same url i'm sorry there is a slash sorry some extra factor came you can see there is nothing so i'm not able to access that url because the user doesn't have the admin role okay so now again i have to log in with this user and i'll create one more user with this time which is going to have an admin role I will say user2 I'm just giving some name, random name here I'll just say u2 and this time I'm saying admin password is p okay so you can see the user is created this is just a simple example that's why i'm not you know adding those alert and all so you can see user is having admin role and this is the email id okay let me log out and log in so you can see user 2 is coming and now if i try to access this uh, registration page see i'm able to access 
okay so this much i will be covering in this video so this is all about demo now let's see how i have achieved this part okay this is simple mongodb nothing big deal over here the first thing we we'll just go to startup so for logging through a mongodb we need to implement one class called custom uh, i mean power resource a resource owner password validator so for that i have created a custom resource owner password validator in this you have to implement one method implement one method called validate async so in this over here you will get the username and the password which you are passing from this form i'll just go back to the ui i hope i didn't stop it let me log out again this is the username and the password so this you will be getting in this context okay so what you could do now after that you can just use any repository fetch the information from the db and just check i am just uh, just simply just double check it just a string or by this or password is just a plain text in your case it will be a hash or encrypted one okay so once this uh, password is matching that means user is valid i can create a you know create a claim a list of claim whatever we have it so for that i have created this custom method and this you put whatever method whatever claims you want to give to that particular user like name given name family name and email id or something like that whether it's active or not or you can add some customer role sorry custom roles also so for that you can use any property name i am using simply role and x is nothing but the same what is coming from the db okay so this user roles is nothing but which is coming from this mongodb this this array okay so that will be populated to this claim so this is all about the custom uh, resource or resource owner password validator how we have to use this class i'll just show you in the startup class you can see i have uh, called this method so earlier it was used like add test user or something method was there that you have to remove it and instead of that you just add add resource owner validator and put the class name over here since you are calling this class you have to inject this class also so which you need to do it something like that so you can say add transient and uh, this is the type and the implementation class and for the mongodb you just need to have these uh, simple injections so for for that you need to create a db context so you, i just hard coded by the way mongodb connection id and the database name so you can see my database name is identity server and you can see over here and the collection name is user detail okay so i am able to create a database uh, context over here and this is the repository which i was talking about it in the resource server you can see over here repository user repository identity server right so if i go over here this is the one i'm injecting okay so let's go inside user repository is just having a simple method uh, i have created one video by the way how to you know do all crud operation in the mongodb i'll put that link as well also in the description i mean how to use the mongodb in your c-sharp code all right so i have a, have in this I'm, I'm simply having one method and add method to create user and get to just fetch the user detail okay so you i'm fetching based on the email id and i'm creating this user detail is nothing but same thing like uh, email id name password first name last name is active or not or roles okay so this is all about that part now once you have done this much that means you are able to uh, re uh, get the data from the mongodb and you, you are having a, you have implemented the custom resource on validator now you you need to do something like there will be one class called uh, not like controller i mean to say account controller in that by default there is a login method will be there this is the one which i am talking about so earlier it will be you know validating through the test user so you have to remove that part and instead of that you use the same repository to get the user when again check the password is correct or not if the password is correct then you just you know use the same user object and replace wherever the test user was there only thing you need to make sure over here so you need to have you need to assign this additional claim so what will happen if you don't by default it was not there when you download the code from the identity server github page so you need to add that additional claim and then i am using the simpler same method which was there in the uh, this class custom resource or so i just made it and static and public so that anybody can create a, i mean like any class can create that uh, list of claims so you can see over here i'm controller i'm just having that same class which you can see over here and what will happen this object will be issued i mean like this this identity server user will be issued which will be having all the claims but from the db okay so this is one thing another thing now let's talk about uh, how I have created the registration uh, register registering the new user. So for that, what I did, uh, you can see over here, just the part. 
so i created one com method called uh, register in this i'm checking whether the user who is trying to you know access this page is having a role called admin or not if the user is not logged in definitely this uh, claims field is going to be empty so it will redirect to again the home page if the user is valid but doesn't have the admin again it will redirect to home page and then the third case if the user is valid as well as he is having a valid access nothing but admin role then he will be redirected to this register uh, page which you have seen over here in this case let me log in again i don't remember the password i mean it's a email id i'll just copy here and now if i go here this the page which i'm talking right now in from the code so this page will be redirected and once user fill uh, this full information then it will come to this register with a full detail from the uh, register read model and that then it's a simple thing like you just validate that the, if the object is valid then you just dump into the db and then redirect i'm just directly redirecting to home page it depending on your your use case you do what you want to do maybe show a message mm -hmm. or it's up to you i'm just trying to just set the context okay so this is all about this uh, registration part now one more thing uh, one more method in some cases when you want to you know so no like uh, like in like let's say you want to you are able to log in through the let's say from the client but in that client you want to know well, what is the client information or something for that those kind of scenarios you can use uh, because of this method user info use the same so what will happen when the user is authenticated pass the token and get this information i'll show you how to get this so for example let's say right now user logged in is user2 okay now if i just simply say uh, user info i am able to see this information of the user so for example uh, user name is uh, you can see user2 okay and then uh, there will be other information like uh, i'll just show you like admin somewhere it will be there is the email id is it at uh, yeah it's here user is admin or not so i am showing over here whatever information i passed from this method which is nothing but login method which i was doing additional token additional claims whatever is i signed it those i am able to access over here so this url can be used in uh, let's like say if somebody is trying to log in from the here uh, let's say some website or a mobile application so they will be able to you uh, log in but uh, they will get the token then they need to know the information also so for that they can make use of this api and get that information and for other respective uh, apis they just simply pass the token if the token is valid they will be able to that use that api or a resource all right that's pretty much all about this video and uh, this thing yeah correct all right thank you very much